So it's NMLEC, and I'll be teaching you how to build a simple phys uh, build a simple domino tutorial using the Blender Physics Engine. All right, so let's get started. So you have your basic cube here. We're going to press one to go to the front view. We're going to press Shift A to add a plane. We're going to press Shift S, and then we're going to go cursor to center. And then we're going to press Shift S again, and then we're going to go selection to cursor. So now our plane is right at the origin. So we're going to scale it up, say, 10. Now we're going to hold that. Let's press 5 to switch to orthographic view. We're going to hold on control and move the cube up so it's right on top of our plane. All right, now we're going to grab this tool right down here. And we're going to make this roughly the size of a domino. So that looks about good. All right, we're going to switch back. And now switch back to front view. Um, now we want to switch to Blender game right up in this menu. That'll give us the options over here, which we didn't have before. We're going to click on this physics type. This is static by default. We're going to go up and say rigid body. We want to turn on collision bounds. Make sure that it's set at box. If you're doing this with any other shape, you can click on the shape it or the shape it is because right, they usually have a menu. If it's some obscure shape, you can do either one of these and whichever one works best will be just fine. All right, now this is all okay. Um, so if we press the letter P on the keyboard, you'll see that nothing happens because there's nothing interacting with this. So we're going to add something. We're going to press Shift D to duplicate it. We're just going to leave it where it is. Now hold down Control and drag it over. Do this a couple more times. Oops. All right, so now that you have a couple dominoes, we can take this one. We're going to hit R, Y to rotate it along the Y axis. And then we're going to rotate it just a little bit so that it falls against these. Now, when we press P again, you have this effect. Now you can say you want to build like a building. You can stack a bunch of these on top of each other, like this. I'm going to delete that. Now, if press Control to select more than one thing, and then it doesn't matter how crude this is, but just for demonstrational purposes. Alright, did you see how this cube fell through the, the plane right here? Let's watch that again. The cube goes right through the plane. So, there's, there is a way to fix this. Select the plane. Make sure it's set at static. Turn on collision. Oops. Turn on the collision bounds. Make sure it's set at box. Let's put the margin at 0 0.01, and that should fix it. So if we run the simulation again, you'll see that there are no cubes falling through the plane. All right, and now you can record these. So if you go to game, and then record animation, um, and then press P, you'll see that it'll record all the frames. And then once we hit escape, it'll stop recording. Now that, and now you can play it while zooming around in Blender. 
But before you do this, you're going to want to save it. Um, call it something like file name not simulated because once you simulate simulate this there's no way to get rid of these um, keyframes so once you simulate it you're stuck with your simulation if even if there's something you don't like there's no way to go back unless you remake your whole scene and simulate it again so just you want to you want to save a copy before you simulate and then save the simulated as some other copy of your file. Alright, um, that's all you need to know about this. All right, uh, subscribe if you like this tutorial and leave comments and thanks for watching.